Now let's break into our featured story of the day and discuss what will one Bitcoin be worth in the year 2025? Well, Fidelity's head of macro, Jurian Timmer, makes this prediction with an exact number. There's a brand new prediction I've never shared before. So let's break this one down, shall we? A massive shout out to everyone in that live chat just joining us. Fidelity Investments Global Macro Director, Jurian Timmer, is updating his outlook on Bitcoin following the latest Bitcoin price surge. He just shared on X to his almost 200,000 followers. The Bitcoin can soar beyond $96,000 uh, by 2025 due to two main factors. He lays out a scenario for Bitcoin's price performance in the coming years based on retail interest rates, which is the interest rate minus inflation and the Bitcoin adoption rate, which is based on historical internet adoption. Quoting Timmer here, with Bitcoin moving up once again, Will its adoption curve accelerate as it did a few years ago? And how does the macro trend on rates affect it? Here's the data to consider. Here you go. I show a fair value band based on both the slope of the internet adoption curve and the path for real rates. The bottom boundary assumes that the treasury inflation protected securities real rate of two and a half percent and the upper boundary assumes negative two percent, which is where we were in 2021. The macro can speed up or slow down the adoption curve, which we have seen play out recently as outlined here in this chart. And looking at the chart, the analyst predicts the Bitcoin price would hit the lower bound of 41000 in 2025 if the tip's real rate remains as high as the current rate. However, if the real rate declines to what it was in 2021, the price prediction would soar to $96,210 in 2025, which is a 175% increase from the current value. Now let's read his thread, which he shared here on uh, X. I also got to throw out there, he also is predicting a $1 billion Bitcoin price by the year 2038. So by 2025, yeah, a little conservative, but extremely bullish for the long haul on Bitcoin. And I know I've covered that previously here on the show. How many of you have heard the billion dollar price prediction from Jerry and Timmer as I have covered it here? Let me know in that live chat. But anyways, let's just break down uh, what he did share here in the thread so you can see the full discussion. Here we go. Above, I show the fair value, as I mentioned a little earlier. He also mentions the macro can speed up or slow down, which we have seen play out recently as outlined in the chart. He also says, assuming for a moment that Bitcoin will mature into an asset class that plays on the same team as gold and silver, how should we think about where it should sit in a 60-40 portfolio and what would be a reasonable position size? Great question. Here's what he says. The good news for Bitcoin is it is an annualized volatility down from its 2018 peak, although at 58%, it's still head and shoulders above traditional asset classes. That's right. There's no asset in which can compete with the king crypto because Bitcoin is a hedge against inflation as well as a hedge against deflation. It's a store of value. It's incorruptible. It's unconfiscatable. And guess what? Gold can't compete either. He also shares here, even better, is 52-week correlation versus the S&P 500 had declined steadily and is now actually negative. More on the Bitcoin outlook on the next thread. And I highly encourage you to follow uh, Jerry and Timmer. He shares a lot of good threads here, especially regarding Bitcoin and what's happening around you know the ETFs, the Bitcoin halving, the macro, and all of these uh, TA, which is technical analysis. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see if I can find another good thread for you. Um, he has quite a lot and he's very active as well. Um, do, 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 do. Here we go. Here's a good thread right here. Uh, he mentions, continuing the discussion from my recent thread on Bitcoin, let's talk about Bitcoin as a store of value. Yes, please, let's talk about this, shall we? Gold is delivering solid risk-adjusted returns. It remains hard to beat. Above, we see that gold has one of the best sharp ratios out there, but Bitcoin is respectable as well in line with other major asset classes. This chart is based on monthly returns because it broadens the universe of alts. In this case, alts such as managed futures and equity long-short hedge funds are the less liquid with variety, which broadens the mix while improving their returns. And below is a ranking of correlations to the S&P 500 based on monthly data of September. Bitcoin still has a positive correlation to the equities, but less than many other assets as outlined right here in this chart.